Hi, I am Shane. And I'm Tony. And we are from the Drum Center of Portsmouth. We are on the web at drumcenternh.com. And today we are doing a very highly requested video, which is our favorite shell packs under $2,000. All these shell packs are under $2,000. Two of them actually come with snare drums, and for the other three, I selected snare drums that kind of kept it right around that same budget, so it's in line with the others. Just so we can make things clear, I have very simple criteria when I look at gear, and number one is sound. That is the most important thing. I don't care if it costs $10 or a million dollars. Sound is the number one principle when it comes to approaching a musical instrument. Number two is performance. How does it function? Is everything smooth? Fit and finish okay? And number three is appearance, because of course it's got to appeal to me when I look at something. And fourth is price. So those are our four considerations. With the drum sets that we're comparing today, they are absolutely incredible in terms of sound and performance. Simply put, with these drum sets, you do not need to spend more money if you don't want to. Now, if you want to do custom sizes, custom finishes, or if you want to get a different ply set up or have something completely custom, that would explain why you're going to get a more expensive set of drums. But believe me when I tell you, the sound that you're going to get from any of these kits is going to cut the mustard in any recording or stage situation. We're going to kick things off with one of the newer contenders, and that is the DW Design Series kit. The Design Series drums come with a lot of the same types of features and specs that you find on higher end DW kits, such as the true pitch tension rods, which are great because they help keep the drum in tune more easily, the mag throw off, which is a killer throw off, also the STM mounts, which do a great job of allowing the toms to sustain properly. The heads that come on the Design Series drums are the import Remo heads. So these are the lower quality heads. So really when you're coming in at $1,600, so there's gonna be a little compromise there. So we have cool packs that uh, we can do a very special value on if you wanna to upgrade to pro heads, which we would suggest you do on a kit like this. Man, I mean, I think it goes without saying that this is the value on this kit is really, really incredible. When I was assembling the kit, I noticed just how uh, well made everything on the drums were. And that's something where you, when you're looking at that price and everything feels that well made, it's, it makes this kit even more of an amazing value. It's obvious to me like that there, there's only one corner they cut and that was the heads. And that's okay if you're going to sell it at 1600 bucks because 
you've got room in the budget to put new heads in, they're still going to come in less than everybody else. Now the finish options I'd say on the design are a little, they're limited, but there's also an acrylic kit and they make up for it with having the gong drum and the, the concert tom. So I really think they did a great job with these and they sound great. Yep. The Gretsch Renown RN2 series drums. This is a really outstanding value. This is something that uh, has been on the market for a number of years now and they just keep getting better. The cool thing about this kit is, is it's an all maple shell, it's seven plies with what Gretsch is known for, the 30 degree bearing edge. They also come with the 3 mil 302 hoops, which you find present on a lot of their higher end drums as well. The inside of these shells are also finished with Gretsch's very famous silver sealer. And they come with GTS mounts on the toms, which do a great job, once again, of allowing the drum to resonate properly. It also comes with a bass drum tom mount, so it makes setup a lot easier. Now here's a question. You said it's an all maple shell, but Gretsch is calling it Gretsch Formula Maple Shell, which we think it might be all maple, but we're not sure. I really don't care because it sounds great, but I don't, I don't think they want to say it's maple and gum wood like the USA Customs are, but they're calling it Gretsch Formula Maple. So it, it's quite possible it's not all maple, but we really don't know. It doesn't really matter because it sounds great. That's it. Gretsch Renown is one of our more popular kits, and honestly, not my particular sound, but when I played it, I was really knocked out with it. They really just had really pronounced stick definition, and the kick drum was just killer. I think I'd say the kick drum was my favorite of all the ones that we played. Yeah, for sure. I think um, acoustically it was the most impressive sounding kit in the room. Um, under the microphone, it was a little different. I think there was um, there were some aspects of the sound that didn't quite translate to tape the way that we were feeling in the room. Some drums are just really good for live. Some drums are better for recording, and that's you know you kind of have to choose what you're looking for. Part of what made the sound so great to my ears was the clear emperors that come up on the on the top. So they used Re USA Remo heads and the Power Stroke 3 on the kick, Clear Emperors on the toms, they sounded great. Yeah, they come, they come with what you would want them to come with, which is killer. If you want Clear Emperors and yeah. Power Stroke 3. Yeah, if you're like us. The Mapex Saturn in teal, blue, fade. This is a four-piece shell pack, no snare drum. This kit is gorgeous. These drums feature the maple walnut shells, which the Mapex Saturns have been known for, but these have an updated sonic clear bearing edge 
and the drums all around have been upgraded slightly over the years with new floor tom legs and tom mounts. Also important to note, this kit did not come with a snare drum, so I selected a new Black Panther, the Shadow, uh, to go along with the kit for two reasons. One, it keeps us right around the same 2K budget, but it also sounded really great with the kit. I love the Mapex Saturn. When I put my sticks into them, it's the audio equivalent of chocolate pudding. It's just a nice, low, deep, fundamental note. There isn't a huge stick definition. It's all about the presence, the depth, the body, the tone. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, they almost kind of have like a pre-recorded sound to them. Like it has this, um, this kind of larger than life type of sound when you're playing them. It's the walnut, I think, that does that. It just gives so much low end. The Sonoclear Edge, the Sonoclear Mount, I can appreciate what they're trying to do here, but the fact of the matter is, I've never had a sound engineer in any studio or any stage to say, hey, uh, you know, can we make your tom more resonant? But what the Sonoclear Mount does to me is it just improves the way the drum responds to my stick, and I'm referring to the rack toms. I want something that has a little bit of give but I want it to come right back to where it was. I want, it, I want it an elastic experience. The only catch is that positioning the toms is a little bit troublesome. I, uh, I found myself getting a little frustrated when I was trying to get the 12 inch tom at the right angle, mainly because you have to kind of like lift it in a certain way just to make it so that it's not sagging and it, it's a little bit tricky. But once you get it there, it's, you know, you're not going to touch it. This is the issue I have with every drum set that doesn't have a mount on the bass drum that has two rack toms. I just, I think it's so much extra work to try to get all this extra hardware and position and balance your drums. I mean, you've heard me play. I'm not the best drummer in the world. So I, the stages I played on weren't, really weren't the best. And so a lot of these drum risers I was on, there'd be wiggling involved. And, and I just couldn't imagine not having a mount because the toms are just going to crash into each other or tip over. Or your drunk bass player, he's going to come over and try to be cool. And then that... Tom Sand's gonna go flying. I just like them out, what can I say? The Pearl Masters Maple Complete MCT Series. This is in a natural banded red burst finish. Four piece shell pack, here we go. These drums feature six ply 5.4 millimeter North American maple shells. Along with Super Hoop 2 triple flange 2.3 millimeter hoops and the super rock solid Optimount suspension system. It's important to note that it is super rock solid. <laughs> nice. All right. <laughs> Not just rock solid. It's super, super rock, rock solid. <laughs> 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 All right. The snare drum that I selected for this Pearl MCT Masters kit is a matching snare drum and a totally different finish, which is the Kane and Abel finish. And this is a 14 by five and a half.
Pearl Masters MCT kit, I would definitely say is the most vanilla kit of everything we played. And you know, with the Mapex being chocolate, we played the Pearl right after it. And then the Pearl kit is just a nice workhorse maple drum set. It's what we've come to expect from Pearl. We know Pearl knows how to make a great sounding maple kit. It's gonna sound great. It's gonna look great. They have a lifetime warranty. Uh, what's not to love about it? It's so, never gonna get you in trouble. No, no, it, it's in the value is there. Sound wise, they, they, they have imported Remo pinstripes, so they're not the premium pinstripes, but I did like the sound. I noticed that they weren't as lively as the Saturns right, right after, but like I had mentioned in the Saturns, that's not a bad thing because I want a nice, good fundamental note, and then I want the ring to kind of get out of the way. Yeah, and when you hear the audio, that all adds up to exactly what we were just talking about, which is these drums recorded really well. I thought out of you know the five kits, this one had the most studio ready sound, and that's even with the cheaper heads on it. These are just great drums. I, I can't really say bad, th but there's a problem. There's actually a huge problem. And I've said this to Pearl a bunch of times, it kind of falls on deaf ears, is that that price point that they're selling at doesn't count because they do not include tom arms or a tom stand. And Pearl tom stands are not cheap. So you're gonna have to add 150 to 200 bucks to mount these toms. All I have to say is, I just wish that there was a way to economically mount these toms so that it could be more competitive. Yeah, nothing more awkward than telling a customer after they made up their mind, hey, guess what, you're gonna spend some more money. The add-on drums, they have a lot of add-ons available. The fill rate on them sometimes is up in the air and special orders on really any of these drum sets can be three to five months. The Thomas Star Classic Walnut Birch, this set is in Molten Brown Burst. This finish is just awesome. There are a lot of things about the Walnut Perch kit that really stick out, that really may give it its own unique identity. Notably, it's the die cast tubes. These have a thinner profile, so it allows for a little bit of a lower tuning. It also has the integrated star cast mount right there with it, with the cool new feature that we've gone over uh, ad nauseum, but we could do it again, just with the on off switch, pulling the drum off, putting it on, super, super easy. And they did that same feature over on the floor tom brackets, which this is such a cool thing to have for somebody who's constantly setting up and tearing down. And the mount, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, the first time I saw the mount, I was just like, what is this thing? And then as soon as I used it, I was like, oh, neat. It had a lot of cool features. You basically could put the tom wherever you need it to go. It is without question the most versatile mount that they have ever offered. The toms have the G2 clears on the tops and they have the Toma Powercraft heads on the bottoms of the toms and on the kick drum. Totally works for me, but I would imagine an upgrade would make it even better. The snare drum that I picked for the Tama Walnut Birch Kit is one of the Soundworks. This is the 14 by six and a half maple shell, which is a incredibly good value for how good it sounds.
Star Classic Walnut Birch. We've covered this one a lot in our videos. I mean, we, we, we are fans of this drum set. I definitely prefer it over the last generation Birch Babinga kits. And uh, they feel really good. They sound really good. It's got the attack. It's got the, the focus sound, which really isn't my thing. I lean more towards the, the Saturn type sound. But there's guys out there that play a lot of notes that really like the sound of these drums. And, and when I hear them being played, I do. I just, I think they sound great. Yeah, and this is another one of those kits that acoustically maybe wasn't the most exciting. Um, you know, like the Renown kit in the room just like exploded, whereas this kit was a little more subdued, a little shorter, a little um, less maybe acoustically exciting. However, once again, that pays off when it comes to recording because these sounded killer. The amount of add-ons that you could do on this is, is great, crazy. I mean, they'll do all kinds of other sizes, so that's great. Now again, special orders on most of it, and it's like five months to get a lot of these add-ons. Uh, and also, the price goes right out the window too, so if you really want to get all the other sizes, then you're going to be getting this because of the sound and not the price. And also that being said too, I felt like when I was assembling this kit that it felt the most premium. Premium! You know, the tom mounts, the, the tension rods, the hoops, the, the floor tom legs, it feels like a kit in another price bracket overall. The finish quality too is... Well, it kind of is. I mean, I think that, I mean, let's look at this. Let's be honest, Star Classic Maple versus the walnut birch, what's the difference? It's the shell. Now, could that be a thousand dollar plus difference? No. I think what's going on with these drums is that these are priced uh, lower to be more competitive. I think that they're really trying to have the best kit in this class with this, this set. I think that's really what their intention is and they're gonna make less margin on it, which is great for you if this is the configuration you want. To fully understand the differences between these kits, we're gonna put them head to head so you can hear them one right after another. Now, I will say, please wear headphones, please listen on good speakers because these differences are subtle and if you're just doing it on your phone or your laptop or something of that nature, you're not gonna appreciate the differences, but they are there. Well, what we want to know is, what did you think? What was your favorite kit? What did you like? What did you dislike? We'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below. We know this is a very important decision for you to make and we want to help you with this. So if you have any questions uh, or you need help, 
putting your dream kit together. That is what we are here to do. These videos are here to help you with it. And our hope is that when it comes time for you to pick out one of these drum sets, we hope you get it from us. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel so that every single time we do one of these videos, you get notified. Thanks so much for watching.